Welcome to another session on SAP Data Warehouse Cloud. My name is Ingo Hilge Ford and I will be your host for today. In this session, we will take a look how we can add calculated columns to our previously created view. For example, the number of days it took us to deliver the order. So we start by going to the data builder and we open up first the space that we created and then we're going to open up the view that we created as part of the previous exercise so we want to add calculated columns so one of the calculated columns we want to add is basically the difference between the order date and the delivery date so that information is a part of the sales order details and the header so we go to the projection of those two tables we click on the small affix symbol for the calculated column and as you can see then in our view we get an additional note for the calculated column we click on it and then we can start adding calculated columns here so the first formula we're going to create is the difference between the delivery date and the order date so we give the formula a name. We don't have to worry about the data type right away. This is also actually something the system will suggest based on the calculation we create. We go to the daytime functions and we scroll down. And as you can see, there is a function called dice between. So that's exactly what we need. We take that. Then we go to the columns and we we'll basically choose our two columns that we need just make sure it goes in the right spots in the formula we validate the formula and we're good to go so we have our first calculated column then we go back and we'll take a preview so we can see now the result of our calculation at the bottom here in the preview so we see the order date, we see the delivery date, and then on the far right hand, we see the number of days between those two dates. We also want to create a couple of formulas that tell us how much profit we made in absolute numbers as well as in percentages with or without the discount. So that is basically something we're adding to the final output. So we go to the sales view output, we click on the FX for the calculated column, and then we also get the additional note. And here we can now add four additional formulas. So the first one will basically calculate what our profit is as an absolute number, and we not worry about the discount in this calculation. Remember the numbers are actually on a per line item scenario so each order so what we do is we will basically take the order quantity we we'll multiply it by the price and we'll also reduce the actual product cost so very simple calculation So we have our first calculated column here for the overall sales view. And now we're going to add the other calculated columns that provide us the profit with considering the discount and also the values as percentage values. So now we have all the calculated columns and we're back at our overall output. We're going to actually configure all the calculated columns we created as measures. We simply open up the context menu and say change to measure. In addition, we go to the percentage items 
and we're going to change the aggregation to none because those are not values we want to sum up as part of our analytics later on. We need to put an average on those items. We also open up the overall panel for the measures. We'll just use the little pencil icon and we give each of the calculated columns we created also a business name. So basically a speaking name for the business user here. So with all those changes, we can basically now save the changes to our view and deploy the changes. And we just added multiple calculated columns into our view. And we will use those when we go into the story builder. I hope this session was helpful. And I want to say thank you for watching and listening.